Hello, my name is Ben Davidson and you're watching the UK Historian Channel. Um, I thought today I'd do a quick video um, basically on the se my second favourite book series. I'll do my favourite in, in another video. But my second favourite series of books available from Pen and Sword Books, which is called The Images of War. And basically they're books, they're soft cover books, they're about £15, £16 pound each. And they look at aspects of mainly the Second World War, but um, they don't give you like an overview of the war. It's all about certain parts of the war, whether it's specific battles, raids, weapons, planes, tanks, and it looks in det fine detail. At those sort of things rather than the whole war but um i've managed to get seven, 17 copies of these and they are just fantastic books i really do like them and obviously to go with the um title of the book the images of war they're predominantly books that are full of images they're, it's the images that are the most important part and obviously on some of the pages you can see let me just ah there we go we do have uh, pages of text which tells you all about the battles people involved the equipment plans operations maps charts it really does cover a decent whack and gives you a lot of a lot of bang for your buck, so to speak. Right, this one, for example, is MacArthur's Papua New Guinea Offensive, forty-two to forty-three. And then I've also got. See, we've moved now to Allied armies in Sicily and Italy, forty-three to forty-five. And then we've changed again to. Air war over Northern Africa. Back to the Far East, we've got we've got a book here covering the Doolittle Raid. And they're all done by kind of respected historical authors. Um, this one's The Americans from the Ardennes to VE Day. This one's by Brooke S. Blades. But we also have John Green, uh, John Diamond, Simon Forty, they're all kind of done by d different authors. So you have different experience and knowledge pertaining to that particular subject that the, that the book is about. So we carry on, we've got the Siege of Malta. Hitler's heavy tank battalions, 45, no, 42 to 45. And as you can see, the books are kind of like that thin, sort of, I'm just checking. That's 140 pages, but then we've got thicker ones. Where the book's sort of like 250 pages. That's the Ardennes book. That was Early Jet Fighters. The Battle for Warsaw. And you've got Wingate's Men. Tank Wrecks. Uh, the Voigt F4U Corsair, the Normandy Air War, early jet bombers, Hitler's anti-tank weapons, 39-45, the destruction of the 6th Army, and then the final one I've got is Dunkirk, Evacuation Operation Dynamo. 
And like I say, they're done by historians that know their stuff. So they get the right person for the right subject. They range from 15.99, some are 16.99, I think. But they're a good quality book. The text is informative and well obviously accurate and the pictures and the images inside are absolutely great so it just makes it gives gives you a change from you know, like your normal history books where it can all be full of text whereas this time you've got actual photographs from the event and they're in my opinion an excellent book and they're available from pen and sword books and you can see my see a link down below my video to these books so if you want to buy some have a look i've got 17 but i think there's about i think there may be 30 to 40 of them so go along have a look see what you can find and thank you very much for watching um hopefully i'll see you next time Please feel free to subscribe to this channel and have a look at the links below. Thank you very much. Goodbye.